Hi, it's Eva Nago. So I'm going to do a lipstick swatch and review video today. So I did already film this look. It should be up already, so I will link it down in the down bar if you haven't seen it. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to do a swatch video of all these lipsticks from a Wet n Wild's Silk Finish lipstick line. So I'm going to swatch every single one of these lipsticks on my lips. Um, I have nothing on my lips right now other than a bit of Vaseline. Um, and my lips are actually pretty chapped today. I don't really know what happened. Um, I think I might have had like an, an allergic reaction reaction to something because they're super dry and nothing seems to help and I have had that happen to me before and the only thing I can really do about it is just wait it out so yeah the timing is actually pretty bad for this video because chap lips and lipstick swatch video is not really a good combination but whatever whatever I do what I want so anyways I have every single color um, from the lipstick line so I have all the shades so I will try them on for you so you can see what they look like on and I will also tell you a little bit about um, each um, each lipstick and each color as we go along so first I'm going to remove the excess um, Vaseline off of my lips just pat it off your lipstick goes on much more like smoothly if you do not have like a lot of moisture going on. So I'm just going to start from the top corner. So this is what the lipsticks look like. Um, the packaging is not, you know, phenomenal. It's pretty basic and it looks, you know, pretty cheap. Um, but these lipsticks are super inexpensive. So I don't mind the packaging at all. The only thing I do mind is that you can't twist the lipsticks all the way down this is how far down it can go so when you try to put on the cap you have to be very careful not to smash the lipstick I just find that very annoying because you can very easily you know smash these lipsticks but anyways this is the first color it looks like this and it is called dark wine so this color is like a dark reddish purple color with no shimmer it's just a creamy finish so let me go ahead and swatch it should have started with the lighter colors first but fuck it so this is what um, the lipstick looks like on it's very true to color so um, the color you see in the tube in the bullet is what you will get on your lips and it's very pigmented it glides on easily and it feels you know nice on the lips I really like this color I think it's a perfect fall color so this is the next color it's called dark pink frost this is a beautiful color, it's pink with a, you know, it's pinky purple, but it has a very strong golden shimmer to it, and it's really pretty. So this is what dark pink frost looks like on the lips. And this color is absolutely gorgeous, I don't have anything like it in my collection. Um, it's just the pink with the gold, it's just so beautiful. And as you guys can see, um, it gives like a, um, like it gives a 3D effect. So in the outer corners, you can see the pink, but in the center, you can see the gold. So that gives it that, um, 3D full lips effect. It's so beautiful, I love this color. So the next color I have is Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. So this is a bright pink fuchsia color with a blue and purple iridescence to it. And this is actually one of the first colors that I got from this line. So this is what it looks like on the lips. It's a really beautiful statement color and again it looks very similar to what you see in the tube. So what you see is what you get. And again, I really love like the blue iridescence to this lipstick. I think it's very, um, what do you call it, like, it's very original and I don't have anything like it in my collection. I really like this color. So the next color I have is called Hot Paris Pink. So this is like a very bright color and I would say that it's more like a coral than a pink. And this one has no shimmer.
what Paris Pink looks like. And this one is another gorgeous shade. And you guys, please keep in mind that this eye look was not meant for every one of these uh, lipsticks. So if something clashes color-wise, then I apologize. Um, but yeah, that's what happens in a lipstick swatch video. So the next color is called Just Garnet. And this is a dark, deep red color with a metallic finish. So it has some nice pink um, pink and red glitters, sparkles to it. This is what Just Garnet looks like on the lips. So here we have um, Dark Wine and Just Garnet next to each other so um, dark wine is slightly darker and of course um, just garnet has um, the shimmer to it so that's the main difference between those two and you guys please excuse if my um, application of lipsticks gets a bit slubby I'm not using a lip liner or cleaning of my lips or anything at all so I mean it's not going to be 100% perfect so please don't mind that so the next color I have here is called cherry frost and this is a basic red color with a frost finish. So this is what um, Cherry Frost looks like on the lips. And again, this goes for all the lipsticks. They're just super pigmented. And I really love this color. It would be perfect to use as a base for a red glitter lip. So the next color I have is called Java. So this is a beautiful brown color with a reddish undertone and this one is a cream finish so no shimmers and I think this would be a beautiful nude color for um, people with darker skin and if you have light skin like me it's a really beautiful like dark brown color so depending on your um, skin tone it can either be a nude or a statement bold lip color. That is what Java looks like on the lips and this would definitely also be a great lip color to go for if you are looking for like that 90s brown lip. So the next color up is called Breeze and this color is a beautiful shimmery nude color. It's like a champagne brown color with um, you know a frosty finish and this is one of my all time favorite lipsticks. what Breeze looks like on the lips and I think it's gorgeous um, I love to wear this one if I'm doing like a matte face and a matte eye um, it just adds that pop of shimmer and as you guys can probably see this one can twist almost all the way down into the tube so um, that means I have used it a lot which I have um, it's one of my favorites so next color is called Nivo Pink and this one is absolutely beautiful as well. It's a creamy, like bright pink color. So this is what Nouveau Pink looks like. And this one is so pretty, it's so bright and beautiful. So next color is called Retro Pink. So this one is again a creamy finish. And Retro Pink is um, like a pink with a purpley undertone. So this is Nouveau Pink and this is Retro Pink. So you can clearly see that Retro Pink is more purple. And you can also see it's more muted. And this is probably the most matte color in this lipstick line. Even though it's still not matte. what um, retro pink looks like on the lips so next color is called mink brown so this is a very dark brown color and to me this is right between a brown and a red because it it has that very red undertone so here you have java and here you have mink brown so you can see mink brown is um, darker and also much more red and again, this one has a creamy finish, no shimmer. So 
This is what Mink Brown looks like on the lips. And this one is so beautiful. It's one of my faves as well. I just love this dark lip. I think it's so freaking gorgeous. And I almost feel like this lipstick applies a bit darker than what it looks like in the tube. I feel like it just looks like one shade lighter in the tube than what it does on the lips. But I don't mind that at all. I think it's so gorgeous. And this lipstick is a little thicker than the other ones. Um, this one has more of a thick feel when you apply it. The other ones feel kind of thin when you apply them. Um, this one goes on. Sorry. I have lipstick on my teeth. This one goes on a little more thick, which personally I love that. And you know what? I'm actually kind of digging this lipstick with this eye look. I think it looks good. So the next color is called Blushing Bali. So to me this is like an orangey reddish color and it has a frosty finish. This is what Blushing Bali looks like on the lips. So next up we have the color Cashmere. And this color is so freaking beautiful. It is a deep um, brown color with a silver iridescence to it. It's so pretty. This is what Cashmere looks like on the lips. Beautiful, beautiful color. One of my faves. I think it's so unique. So next color is called Sunset Peach. And this is a beautiful orange color with a frosty finish. This is what Sunset Peach looks like on the lips. Definitely a beautiful must-have summer lipstick color in my opinion. So next color is Light Berry Frost. So to me this is definitely more of a pink fuchsia color than a berry color. Um, but it is definitely frosty. It has a beautiful um, silver iridescence to it. So here I have Light Berry Frost and Nouveau Pink. And as you can see they are slightly different in color. And of course, um, the biggest difference is that um, Light Berry Frost has a frost to it, whereas Nouveau Pink does not. So this is what Light Berry Frost looks like on the lips. So next color is called Copper Dust. So this is a really pretty reddish copper orangey color with a golden undertone, I mean a golden um, iridescence to it. So this is what it looks like on the lips, copper dust. So next color is called Hot Red. And this color is a beautiful red color and it has a creamy finish. what it looks like on the lips. A really nice bright color. So my lips are getting pretty stained from all these lipsticks but um, luckily we only have five colors left. So next up is Time Mahal and this is another pink color with shimmer. So here you have Time of Hall and Light Berry Frost. So you can see they're kind of the same just slightly different colors. what it looks like on the lips. I think it's beautiful on. And this one has a slightly um, thicker texture as well. Um, not a lot, but it is slightly thicker than most of the other colors. So next up I have the color Black Orchid. Again, super pretty dark color. This is like a dark wine, I would say, with a cream finish. This is what it looks like on. Beautiful deep dark color, perfect for fall. So this one is the next color and it's called 510A. Um, I bought this while I was in New York and for some reason it doesn't have the name on the bottom. It just has the number. 
so I don't remember what this is called but I will list it down in the down bar but it's another one of those orangey pinky colors with um, a frosty finish so I'm comparing it to copper dust so this is 510A and this is copper dust so you can see they're pretty similar this is what 510A looks like on the lips so I do think it's pretty, um, another great color for summer. So this is the second to last um, lipstick. It's called Pink Eyes. And this is a beautiful like Barbie pink color, I would say, with a lot of um, shimmers to it. And I just think it's really pretty. So this is what um, Pink Eyes looks like on. And again, I love how reflective this um, lipstick is. It does kind of give that um, 3D um, look. And I absolutely love the shimmers in this. And I think this would be great for anyone who loves the Barbie pink colors. Um, I think it's kind of a must have if you're into those kind of colors. So my lips are so fucking stained. But luckily we are down to the very last color. And by the way, these lipsticks are so pigmented that even if you have a stained lip or if you have a um, dark natural lip color, the true colors will show. So the very last color is called Cinnamon. And to me, this is like a true red color. And it has a creamy finish. So that is what cinnamon looks like on the lips. So that was the final lipstick. So now I have gone through every single color in here. And it was actually a lot more difficult than I thought. 22 lipsticks is a lot of colors. So to sum up, I really love these lipsticks. I think they're great quality, especially for the price. These lipsticks are some of the most inexpensive out there on the market. And they are great. Like they have great pigmentation. They feel great on the lips and they last a great long time. And I have lipstick on my teeth again. And as I said, I do have every single color. I bought most of my colors when I was in Germany, Germany last summer. And then I bought um, some online and the rest I bought while I was in New York back in February. So yeah, I would totally recommend these lipsticks. And anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, Please thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And please let me know what you think of these kind of lip swatch videos. Um, I have wanted to do this one for ages and I'm so glad I finally got around to doing it. Um, it was a little rough on my lips. <laughs> uh, my lips do feel quite a little bit irritated, but I mean, that's okay. But I think it was really fun to do and to see all the different lip colors. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to say. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and um, take care and bye bye.